What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to WWE 2K20, my career mode. Do your boy a favor and hit a V-trigger on that like button. It's time to fight Carmella backstage again, because yesterday I failed it. Let's go. And I can't skip the cutscene once Sorry, again. Hey, Boo! Sorry, let me skip the cutscene! Okay, let's go near the garbage truck to begin with this time, now that I know where I need to be, which is by the garbage truck. Cause yeah, basically I won that match yesterday. I knocked out Carmella, she was done, but I didn't win the match in the right way, so therefore I failed the thing. It's Monday, it's a new week! Yes it is, will Ghost Ali still be here? Is the question. Where is... Oh, no, it's Ghost Becky Lynch. Hey, Ghost Becky. Ghost Becky. Yep. She's a ghost. All right. We're close enough here. Get Carmella Yellow Health. Because it's going to it's going to put us back where we were with the briefcase anyway. So, you know, it is what it is. But Ghost Becky. The man. Ghost man. It's a ghost man. Anyway. It is a fine Monday here on the program. And that got reversed into DDT. So, you know, we're still doing that here on this show every day, pretty much. Anyhow, so, in terms of, I don't know, news, I guess, uh, AEW Full Gear is this weekend, this Saturday, on pay-per-view. And as of right now, as of Monday morning, there are only four matches announced for Full Gear. Now, we've heard that, hey, they're going to have uh, judges... For the whole thing between Cody and Jericho. So it just might go that full 60. I would imagine it, it, it would go that full 60. Right? But. That's still only four matches. For that show. So I would imagine. On Wednesday. This week. On Dynamite. They're going to announce some more matches. I would hope. I would hope. Alright. Interview. Becky. See it just replaces us. Over here. Which is fine. But now it's getting by the garbage truck because, you know, the garbage truck. Because that is the finish of the match. Come back, Carmella. Come back in this cutscene. Don't make me run. I'm full of chocolate. All right, now red health. But I want to make sure we're near the end here. And make sure I hit a finisher right over here. I have no stamina left. Mella is punchy. That got reversed. Actually, no, I'm sorry. No, it didn't. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Anyhow. Anyhow. So, yes. Full gear on Saturday. Looking forward to it. Hoping it has more than four matches, but we'll see. They could be four very long matches. You don't know. We'll see what they have planned there for that whole bit of beardness. Their first show, I think, after the TV deal. So, that's kind of significant. Is that you've had now several weeks of TV for your thing. Is it going to be any different than the last couple of pay-per-views? Or is it going to be more of what they've been doing? That's kind of an interesting bit of beardness. So SmackDown and Bray Wyatt. Obviously, SmackDown a bit different than it was supposed to be last week. Because of the whole thing with the airplane and everything else. We'll get into that here in a second. Right? But, uh, where are my reversals? Come back. No! We need to be by the garbage truck, Mella. We go and finish it. I don't, I'm not watching that cutscene for a third time. I swear to God. Not happening, Mella. Not happening. Hit a move, or just stand there. Just stand there and get clotheslined. All right. So now I'm concerned that if I hit a finisher now, it's going to be... Or if I hit if I hit my SIG now, it's going to be a problem. So we're going to build up to 150% to get finisher, because that's a much safer way of doing this. Because I don't want to watch that whole cutscene with Mickie James and Carmella a third time. I'd really like rather not. Blow. Finisher. Please tell me that's close enough to the garbage truck. Please tell me this is close enough. Yes. Throw her in the trash thing. Yes, throw her in the trash. <laughs> not, not me in the trash. No. Throw her in the garbage space. truck. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you... Oh, Mella, no! My briefcase! How dare you! Looks like it's headed for a landfill. 
Good luck cashing in on me without a briefcase. Does that mean I got a custom one like Damien Sandow? I gotta be cool. I got here as fast as I could. What's the big news? This. Is that a dead... animal? No. I spent all night digging through the garbage truck and found your money in the bank contract. That's great! And it also explains the smell. I think that's mostly me. I skipped showering because I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. Bro. You're a true friend, but please don't touch me right now. Fair enough. So is the briefcase in the bag too? No. It was completely destroyed, but all that really matters is yeah, your contract survived. Besides, you can always just make a new briefcase. True. Well, thanks again. I really owe you one. Ah, don't worry about it. I ended up scoring some sweet bonus items from the garbage truck. Got a few rolls of wrist tape with a bit left on them, a stack of Rusev pictures that are either covered in salad dressing or baby oil stains. And check this out. I think that's possibly Vince McMahon's half-eaten steak. Now ketchup? that could be worth with ketchup? something. Huh. Cool. Why don't you tell me more about your disgusting trash treasure after you get cleaned up? In the meantime, I'll work on a new Money in the Bank briefcase design. Oh, you could decorate it with my Rusev garbage pictures. Mm, I mean... Um, yeah, maybe. Nice. Machka! So, here we are in Money in the Bank Choose Your Own Briefcase. We have the regular, we have the red one that says red. We have the Rusev pictures with the stains, and we have Design Your Own. They couldn't give us create a championship, but they can give us create a briefcase. Will this crash the game? Let's find out. I just want the red briefcase with the big black L's on it for Leona Lux. So let's try that. Let's make it a nice shade of red. Let's actually get that a little bit brighter. Like, yeah, there we go. Nice and bright. Yes, okay. And then material, make it vinyl, so it pops. Images, we want some lettering. We want the old LL in the font. I can't... So here's the problem. I can't adjust the size of these L's. I can change the rotation, right? I can... I can move it around, but you won't let me change the size on the text. Add that to the bug list of one more thing you can't do in this game. What the hell, man? Do you know what we're going to do, what we should do here, which is hashtag fix WWE 2K20. And why is this text, like, so blurry? Also is kind of confusing. But, you know, it is, yeah, nice and big there. Adjust that, put that right there. Um, and I can't, oh, I can make this wider, but I can't make it taller. You know, that's, all right, sure. Whatever. Uh, give it an outline in black so it pops better. Yeah, a little bit. Give it the old drop shadow. And accept. We're good. There's your briefcase. A fitting briefcase for this video game. We all heard the saying, don't write checks that your mouth can't cash. Mm. Well, after last night, there's a new version. Don't write checks that your briefcase can't cash in after Carmella destroys it with a garbage truck. It really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Sorry, Red, but I proved what everyone already knew. Mella is money. And you'll always be trash. But now I have a fancy new briefcase, baby. It's red. That's and right. The new, the new accessory. Fix this game, please. I'm begging you. Um, what is that? Did you make your own briefcase? Real cute, but I think you need to take your DIY and go DIY. Bye. I'm not going anywhere. Because it's not the briefcase that matters. It's more symbolic than anything. What really matters is the contract inside that's good for a title match at any time. And I still have that. Thanks to my disgusting yet loyal friend. There's no way this is legit. 
Actually, Randy Orton just signed off on it. So it's official. You can't do this. I destroyed your briefcase. This should not be happening. Sorry, princess, but it is. So what do you say we finish what we started? Fight. I mean, you gotta hand it to the referee first, but... Yes, hand it to the yep, uh -huh. Red might be setting herself up for a repeat. That could certainly happen. But throughout the years, Money in the Bank briefcase holders have cashed in at a highly successful rate. Let's see if Red can continue that trend here tonight. This only counts once the bell rings. If, if, the, if the bell don't ring, then it doesn't, it's not official. One. All right. The cash-in is now official for Miss Money in the Bank win by pinfall or submission. Oh, Carmella, you are going to take the L. So very, very hard for putting my briefcase in the trash can. But speaking of red things, right, we didn't get Bray Wyatt, or I'm sorry, The Fiend, on SmackDown, right? Standing suplex, stalling standing Lashley style, right? And Bray Wyatt is your universal champion who is on SmackDown. Think about that for a half a second and realize that that title is red on the blue brand. So will The Fiend keep a red title being The Fiend and his dumb red lighting? Or are we going to get a blue belt on SmackDown after all these years of people assuming it was going to happen and it never happened? That's the question. Uh, so I'm very curious to find out this week on SmackDown. Now it's possible that The Fiend could have his own belt as long as he has that belt and then when he loses it it goes back to being you know what it was uh that wouldn't surprise me but uh that was a jumping nothing good god almighty targeting is terrible 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 what else is new what tales is new with this game not much needs patching you know same old same old anyhow so Back to the plane situation. One last little thing here, I guess, for today on the plane situation is that AJ Styles, the phenomenal one, was on Mixer streaming and had his version, his account of the events in Saudi. And we do have that rumor, that was a nice splash, that uh, the talent is being told to give their story on the mechanical issues. The funny part with the AJ Styles thing on Mixer, and obviously, it's AJ, he's... He, he's He's not an airline employee, so he only knows what he experienced, right? But what AJ had to say very much did not line up with what the airline's official statement had to say. And I'm like, hmm, that's curious. Real curious. So yes, that again continues to be interesting, especially since you had Carl Anderson's wife, Abs Anderson. Uh, his wife was out there on Twitter using the H word as in hostage. And I'm like... Yeah, something is still up with what happened there, and they're just not going to tell us what the hell happened there. So, that is what it is. Uh, but yeah, just another small thing there of talent towing the company line, but not towing the same line as the airline was putting out there the other day. So, I'm not getting all tinfoil here, but I'm saying that's very curious that he doesn't have the same thing that they said officially from the airline uh, and whatnot. Code of Silence from Mella. Nope. Not happening. Code of Silence. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not happening. I am too strong to allow that to happen, Miss Mella. Too strong. Stop reversing my moves. Pop. Pop. Anyhow. Uh, this week, or next week, WWE going back to Europe. For a European tour, I think Raw and SmackDown are in the UK, and I'm like, bro, why in the blue hell, with whoever is in charge of your scheduling, right, would you schedule Crown Jewel in Saudi, have your shows in the US, and then go back to Europe? You were already in the area, why would you come back and then go back? That's the dumbest thing in the world. So, I don't understand, but that's how they've scheduled it. You would think... It'd be far enough ahead of time in the schedule that you wouldn't do that. 
and you wouldn't, like, you know ahead of time when these shows are going to be by months and months and months. Code, red alert, red alert on Carmella. And if you know ahead of time, rope break. You got so lucky, Mella. You got so lucky. No idea how lucky you got on that one. Because the red alert puts everyone away. Everyone goes to sleep on that. And now I'm botching my... There it is. Nope. Catch as catch can. Nah, Mella. Nah, Mella. Eat that clothesline. From halfway across the ring. Red gonna go for that huge splash. Switch your good. One. Two. Oh, come on now. There should have been a new champion there. That should have happened. And it didn't happen. I'm gonna be Raw Women's Champion. It's my color. I'm red. That's what I do. But whether or not we can get it to happen here is... The question. Boom! Just right there, and then fall away slam! Woo! Alright, well, we still have a ways to go here to get back to 100% to hit the locks down, or perhaps the super choke slam. Haven't had that one in a while. No! Carmella, how about no! How about I stomp you until you die? Of course, of course! Ref bump! Ref bump! There is lawlessness here. Stop on that hole and walk in a drive. Referee just went down. All right, look, look, come back, come back. Belly to belly, overhead throw. Pick her up and hit that comeback. Here we go. Circle and square. Whee! Okay, now then, Miss Mella. Miss Money, get in the corner, like that, and then get up, this is the wrong way, this is the wrong direction, so, you know what, that's fine, that's, what the hell was that, Mella, get back in the ring, we have a business to handle, take her in the hard way, I don't want to do the oh my god, alright, fine, we're doing the oh my god, I don't even care anymore. It wouldn't give me the option, so we're doing the oh my god. Alright, we're on the outside. It's time for a drive-by. Boom! With the drive-by from Leona Lux. Now then, I don't have a finisher because I used the oh my god. So, you know what? That's fine. I drove by, I shot you down, and I won that title. become the new Raw Women's Champion. What an amazing 24 hours this has been for Red. I hate to say it, but you have to give some credit to her pal Trey, who apparently went dumpster diving to salvage the Money in the Bank contract. This is yet another tremendous achievement for Red to cross off the list she shares with Trey. It's become increasingly apparent that it's not just a piece of paper. It's the driving force behind Red's meteoric rise to the top. It's magic. All right. And so it is with great honor that I induct the package deal, Red and Trey, into the WWE Hall of Fame. We're called the package deal? Okay. Sure. Who is this audience? It should be wrestlers in the audience. What the hell? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> no. Wow. Thank oh, you. Oh, this is incredible. All right. All right. Thank All you. Right. Thank you guys so much. All right. Almost 20 years ago, we were a couple of not-so-popular high school kids who bonded over our love of WWE and became best friends. But we never thought it was possible that someday we'd be WWE superstars ourselves, let alone stand on this stage tonight being honored as two of the very best of all time. By the way, I totally thought we could do it. He didn't. Going off script already, huh? Well, that didn't take long. Fine. Where was I? Here we go. But one day at lunch, we made a list. This piece of notebook paper would become the roadmap to our success in WWE. It contained our goals, hopes, and wildest dreams. And it changed everything. 
Over the years, we added a lot of new things to the list, and pretty much everything got crossed off except for one huge final achievement. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And unless anyone in charge has a last minute change of heart, I think it's safe to say that will be crossed off in a little while. And I'm not gonna say this is a bigger achievement for me than it is for my friend, but let's be honest, when I first got to WWE, not many of you thought I was Hall of Fame material. What he's trying to say is he wasn't exactly the most respected superstar in the locker room. <laughs> well, let's face it, no one other than you liked what? me. But a lot of that was my fault. I was brash and confident, but didn't have the experience to back it up. Sure, I had a universal title win, but it was mostly considered a fluke. And when it came to the list and my career goals, I really only cared about crossing off the fun things that came along with being a WWE superstar. Winning dance contests, getting an action figure, a cool t-shirt, being in a video game, a movie. <laughs> Which, of course, brings me to The Miz. What's up, buddy? I see you. Where? <laughs> I don't see him. There were a lot of parallels between our personalities. Which explains why I wasn't that liked, and also why we made such good adversaries. I mean, who could forget our legendary battle over the lead role in Rank and File 4? Who could forget? I've already forgotten. Okay, chapter complete, I guess. Paving of the way! Redesign, rebuild, reclaim. I am definitely auditioning. It's one of my OG list items. Star in a WWE action Bo, movie. Bo, Bo. I think I'm gonna pass. Are you kidding? Do I need to remind you that the rank and file films are cinematic masterpieces? No. You mention that every year on that weird holiday you invented where you binge all of them from start to finish. You mean Thanksgiving Day? <laughs> it's the most heart-pounding, action-packed, explosive day of the year. And it's gonna catch on. You'll see. I wouldn't get your hopes up, all you wannabe movie stars. Because I already have the lead role of Bryce Decker locked in for the fourth consecutive film. I mean, do you really think the rank and file franchise could continue without the most accomplished WWE superstar slash actor in history? The answer is no, people. But please, feel free to audition for a bit part or an extra role. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you with the director. Gotta run. Getting my eyes bleached for the big shoot coming up. Really gonna make these baby blues pop on screen. Break a leg. Sorry, this isn't my thing, but I know how excited you were. Hmm. Honestly, the franchise is probably better off in the hands of a seasoned artist like The Miz. You were right. It was a stupid dream. <sighs> you know what? I changed my mind. Let's audition together. It'll be fun. Really? Yeah. Let's give it our best shot, and maybe we can get supporting roles, or background would be fine too, even deep background mm. where we're out of focus and no one can see me. Oh, that would still be cool. And just imagine all the kids' faces when they see us in the movie next year on Thanksgiving Day. They'll light up with explosions and excitement. I'm still not sure that's catching on like you think it is. I'm not sure I believe in a world where you have casual chats between Bo Dallas and Mandy Rose. I just don't see it. But hey, is WWE anything gonna happen? Anyhow, I'm the Tax Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos on this channel. See you next time. And I'm out. Heath Slater needs a part in Rank and File 4. I got kids, so don't audition and take a roll from me. Good times. So we have a Brooklyn Von Braun message, but the audio is not playing. Again, this game has some issues. Pause it and read it if you'd like. I'm not going to read that. Lita, if you end up beating everyone on Raw, maybe I'll have to come out of retirement. Actually, that sounds like too much work. Keep it up. We have a few minutes to fill, so can we finally talk about Brooklyn Von Braun's latest movie release? Uh, sure. I guess. Uh, I'll let you go first. What, what do you think? You didn't watch it, did you? No, I, I totally did. Uh, Brooklyn, she was great. She really knew her lines, and her hair was really nice, and she <laughs> she, uh, she handled the props really well. Seriously? Okay, fine. I blew it off, but I just figured you'd fill me in. Well, this segment's off to a great start. <sighs> Where was I? Brooklyn plays an MMA fighter. Big stretch. Ooh. 
Are you going to snark? Or are you going to let the person who actually watched the movie do the segment? Sorry. Continue. Well, when her MMA career is derailed due to injury, a chance encounter leads her to the world of competitive tap dancing. Hence the title, Tapping Out. Hmm, sounds like I made the right call not watching it. It was actually entertaining. And hey, as long as it's not getting in the way of her training, then she should do whatever she wants. Besides, you have to give her credit for trying new things, which is something you could attempt every once in a while. I just tried this new movie review segment. Not a fan. I'm going to start my own podcast. Women who respect their co-hosts. Aw, that's a bit wordy. Anyway, speaking of new things, we have a brand new sponsor who can help you become the next WWE Riley Flash. superstar. Are you sick of going through life unrecognized and unappreciated? Well, what if I told you in just a few months I could make you famous around the world? Because that's what I did for WWE superstars Red and Trey. With my help and a sizable but fair tuition, they went from losers to bruisers. So if you want to get on the fast track to WWE success, there's only one place to do it. Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. Fame and fortune is only one call away. So give me a ring and I'll see you in the ring. Red and Trey did not authorize this message and WWE success is highly unlikely.